Welcome back friends to Happy Heart Homemaking. I'm Heather and I was going to show you what we got overnight. Um, it has been wild and crazy in Tennessee as far as weather goes. So now we have some snow after a bunch of thunderstorms. Tonight for dinner we are having pulled pork barbecue sandwiches and so here's the recipe that I use. Boston butt portion um, roast and it does have a bone but whenever it uh, shreds up I'm gonna pull the bone out it's a 4.95 pounds that and it was from April so we're trying to use up um, what we have you're gonna need uh, some hickory barbecue sauce some minced onion garlic chili powder onion powder uh, apple cider vinegar and let's go over here salt pepper water bouillon cubes and brown sugar so we're going to start off with about two tablespoons of minced onion, or if you're using a, uh, a fresh onion, it would be a full onion in this. We're going to do two tablespoons of garlic powder. one full tablespoon of chili powder. Now this will give it kind of a kick. And then also we're gonna do one tablespoon of onion powder. I know this seems like a lot of seasoning, but this is a lot of pork butt, so. I'm gonna do a half of a teaspoon of salt. And the only reason why I did a half of a teaspoon is because we're going to put vinegar and barbecue sauce in it and also bouillon cubes um, and those are all kind of salty so and we're going to do a full uh, teaspoon of pepper now we're going to take a half a cup of water and we're going to pour that over your roast and then we're going to take a half a cup of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and pour that over the roast also. And then we're going to use, I know this is not the best thing in the world, but it's bouillon cubes. I was raised on them. It's never hurt me. Um, but this kind of gives it a richer flavor um, and adds also salt and seasonings to it. But if you don't have this, you can use um, a half a cup of beef bouillon or beef broth or chicken broth. But this is two uh, cubes of it. And as you can probably tell, I am still in my bathrobe and it is almost 840. I got up early, uh, exercised, read my Bible, drank my coffee, uh, got kids fed and situated. And so I was going to show you all this before we started homeschool for the day. Now today is our first day back after um, Christmas break. And we are going to be working on math. Uh, math is a hard subject for my middle child. So we're going to work on that today. And since it's a snow day, we might get outside and kind of play a little bit. But it's also in the 20s here. And I don't think it's going to be very much... Uh, the temp is going to get very warm today. So we might go outside for a little while and run off some energy. And then we're going to come back in and watch a documentary on whatever my son chooses. So we're going to do a quarter cup of brown sugar. And we are going to pack this. Now what I mean by packed is when you get brown sugar out of the canister, you're going to pack it down with your hands like this. So... And all this will melt down. If you're not comfortable just dumping it in like I do, um, you can mix all this up in a bowl and then um, pour it over the pork butt. Or you, if you don't use pork butt, you can use a pork shoulder. It doesn't matter. It's all going to shred up the same way. So I think the pork shoulder doesn't have a bone in it, whereas the pork butt does. But that's what they had on sale. That's what I bought, and I'm cheap. <laughs> so now we are going to do a cup of barbecue sauce. It does not matter what kind, if it's hickory or if it's straight or if it's sugar free. I'm using what I have. Um, barbecue sauce going over the top of it. 
Doesn't that look delicious? Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's going to be so good. Okay, so I have all my ingredients in here. I'm going to pop my lid on it, plug the slow cooker in, and set it my temperature to low. And this is going to cook anywhere from 8 to 12 hours. And like I said, it's about 8.45 in the morning. So I will probably cook this until about 6 o'clock. Um, and then when it's done, I will shred it up, take the bone out, um, and then mix all the sauce together because it's going to make a delicious sauce. Um, and then I will serve it on rolls. And when I come back, I will show you that. So um, I hope you all have a blessed day. And um, I will be back this evening. Hey y'all, so it is 520 in the evening. Um, and I was going to show y'all what this uh, barbecue pork looks like. So this is uh, the barbecue pork before I shred it up. And I'm fixing to take it, everything out, leave the crock pot on warm. And shred it up and put it back in for about 30 minutes. And let everything heat back through. Take the bone out and all that good mess. And then I will show you guys what it looks like when I serve out plates. So guys, here is the plate that is served out. And here is the barbecue pork. Um, slow cooker barbecue pork on a one of those fundraiser rolls. I just riz, rose those. Risen. I riz those. <laughs> um, we rose those in the oven. And I cook them. And then I split them in half and put my mixture in there. And then we're just having some corn on the cob. So this is a very filling and a very, um, yeah, it's kind of carb loaded. But you know what? It was easy and my family is going to enjoy it. Always remember to wake up with a happy and grateful heart. And those babies going to have some full bellies tonight. Bye-bye, guys.